Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legends out of Breath of the Wild. Last time we came here looking for Koroks after getting a memory. I don't know why I'm explaining what happened last video. I don't usually do that. But now, let's see if we can find the Koroks that I thought were here. I'm like super sure that there are Koroks here. But I might be crazy, so. Take it with a grain of salt, possibly. There should be something around here. Just one thing, please. One Korok. I think it's over this way, yes. Right over here, we have a one in that we can dive into or do that as well. Or not. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness, I just want to dive. Just want to hold on to my full heal backup thing if I need it. Okay, dive. Thank you. Korok. Let's mark that off. Number 51. Okay. It'd be a shame if I was mistracking some of this. But I'm pretty sure there's more than one here. I just don't know where, though. If there was another one, it would probably be easy to find using stasis. If I had to guess. So it's another sword thing here. Wooden bow. Also, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but if a bow has the times three on it, that means that it will shoot three arrows. It also can have t uh, times two on it to show that you can shoot two arrows. But we haven't really come across that. Also, if it could stop raining, that would be great right now. Is there a shelter? It's not really any shelter to build a campfire. There's like here, but I don't know if that's going to work. I could try. There's only one way to find out, so. Let's grab that, and do I have firewood? I have some firewood. Thank goodness. Let's do that, and then let's sleep until morning. Only a few hours, but still. Also, I probably didn't need to make it morning. And it's still raining. Cool. Good to know. I don't actually know what the the weather, how long the weather lasts. So, that's probably a problem. Also, I think I just blow that up anyway, so. That should be another Korok. Number 52. There we go. So, now that all that is done, I think I'm going to actually teleport back to the stable over here so we can actually go to that other marker that I placed. Okay. How do I... Please... Thank you. D-pads are difficult sometimes. Here comes Jack. My trusty steed. And let's... Follow the road. I wonder if John is easier to handle along the road. If I just let him do his own thing. Also, I don't think I've said much. Um, what I find interesting about shrines is after you find them, you don't really look at them. But while they're looking blue, they look really good. Especially with the like lighter color for the eye. They just look really appealing to look at after activation. Also, yes, I just ran over that Bokoblin and killed it like that. Let's hopefully not have the game glitch out again on this bridge. Because that's what happened last time. We had a bit of trouble. Yeah, I think you do have to kind of make sure that the horse turns at um, junctions, but other than that, you should be able to just ride. Man, this music though, very peaceful. We should be getting close. Ish. We just need to follow this path a little bit more. Yeah. 
I think it's gonna, just going to keep following it on its own. Probably. But I might have to turn off at this next bit here. Judging on the map and the way it looks. Go over this way. Thank you. Looks like there's a fire pit over that way, which is probably where my marker is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> didn't, didn't see you there. It's fine. They're fine. There's a hearty radish over there. I think I'm alright for hearty meals right now. Let's just keep going this way. Oh, is that a... I think that was a thing. A bloopy, but I might be wrong. But anyway, there's a shrine. And here's another stable. Meaning we can teleport here whenever we want to, and then, yeah. I think if you talk to the painter here, he'll tell you about, um... No, I think I'm wrong. Never mind. Just ignore me. Just, just ignore me. There's also this guy here. Cass. Greetings, traveler. How about a song? That there. On your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Are you a bird? Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. My name is Cass. I'm a bard. As, as a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs? Ancient songs are uh, songs that sing the praises of the hero, of a hero, who beat back the calamity in age past. One of the more famous among them rec recounts the events of 10,000 years ago. I happen to know a song about the, about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you, hear, do you care to hear it? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent, without further ado. The kingdom of Hyrule is a vast, stored land, oft grasped in the palm of a villainous hand. A dark force of destruction, many times undone, rises once again, Ganon the Calamitous One. But hope survives in Hyrule, for, it is, for all is not lost. Two brave souls protect it, no matter the cost. A goddess blood princess and a fearless knight, they appear in each age to fight the good fight. Their battle with Ganon I have committed to a song, to keep it through time no matter how long. Now begins the second verse, listen and you'll know of their battle with Ganon 10,000 years ago. The kingdom of Hyrule was once a land of lasting peace, a culture of such strengths and wit, that suffering did cease. But Ganon lurked beneath the surface, strengthening its jaws, so the ancient people of Hyrule sent set out to help the cause. Their efforts bore fruit in an automated force, to help avert calamity by sealing it, it at its source. Four giant behemoths which, for which power never ceased, each of these titans were called a divine beast. And free-willed machines that hunted down their prey, these guardians were built to last so they could join the fray. To guide the beasts in battle, warriors were needed, so four champions pledged to see Ganon defeated. Divine beasts, guardians, princess, and knight, their plan to rout Ganon was looking alright. Airtight. And when Calamity Ganon re reared its head, Hyrule rose against it. The opposite optimism of Hyrule all the more in <laughs> uh, Ganon raged in its assault, boiling with hate, it garnished its teeth and thrashed about, but it was all too late. The Guardians kept their heroes safe through every hour, the Divine Beast unleashed attacks that weakened Ganon's power. The hero with the sealing sword struck the final blow, 
and the holy power of the princess sealed Ganon's sorrow. And that is the story of the brazen attack on Calamity Ganon 10,000 years back. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. I think I'm alright, that was very long. And very hard to keep up with. Anyway, there's another meal over here that we can take a picture of. It's actually just a regular elixir recipe thing, so. There's also this here. Rumor Meal Volume 5. Hey there! Tracy here! Representing the rumor loving sisters. Have you heard gossip from your family members? Here's my current favorite. Dragons actually exist! No way, that simply can't be true. Is that what you're thinking right now? I used to think that too. But then I traveled to Laneru, Akala, and Faron, and I heard some real eyewitnesses, eyewitness accounts. Of course, there these were scoops from children, but still. Children are pure of heart, meaning they would never lie. I have total confidence in my sources. Tracy's recommendation? Four stars. Okay, I'm done here, I think, probably. This is another shrine to look at. So let's have a look at that. Kaya One Shrine. Shields from Water. Okay. If you say so. This is probably a good shrine to have my Sora element out for. I suppose. Unintentionally, but useful. Can I just jump up that? Not quite. Let's make another pillar, please. Thank you. Just so a little bit higher so I can get up, please. I beg you. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. Jump. There we go. Now, I think if I shoot you, you'll die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's grab this. No, I can't grab that. Okay. Let's freeze that open. Up. Add the water so I can get to it. Okay. Open that. And we get an ancient core. Pretty sure we've read that before, so I'm trying to avoid reading things again. Every time you open a chest, it's going to give you the description of things. Ancient Spring. Oh, and there's more Guardians. Please? Thank you. Okay, so... Let's put that ice block there. We wait. Because there should be a raft. And this raft will take us most of the way where we need to go. There's also a chest in there that I want to get, so I'm gonna... Oh, hurry. Oh, hurry. Oh, hurry. Ho, 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 Okay, this is fine. I think. Please. Oh my goodness, where am I? Let's open up this chest. A knight's broadsword. Knights of Hyrule once carried this sword. I'm pretty sure I've read this before. But my inventory is full. So, let's throw out something. Like probably a forest well sword since we have two of them. Okay. Take that with me. And let's get back onto the raft. Get back on the raft, please. Okay. Thank you, Ice Blocks, for saving me. So I think the way we need to do this is by going towards the waterfall. Yes, this is a waterfall. And then jumping off, jumping off, and then gliding down. Did I go to this chest? Yes, I did. Good. Also, I think the mark is gone. Good. Okay, 
Well, that's that done. That's actually all I wanted to get done over here for now. Although I feel like there's a Korok down here. My my Korok sensor is... My Korok tingles. Oh, please, let me grab the thing I'm trying to get. There's a chest here. Which could be good. I think he was actually about to talk about me about it. Oh, the treasure chest. Poor buddy. I don't know who you are or what kind of power you have, but it's awesome. Like, really awesome. Now hurry up and open that chest. If you say so. Riverbed reward. Did I just get that side quest and then finish it all in one go? I think I did. The goodbye sword that I just got from the shrine. Definitely wasn't expecting that. I don't know what kind of wi wizardry you use, but that's incredible. And yeah, what was inside that treasure chest? It was a sword. Aww. What? A cool sword, you say? Whatever, I didn't really uh, even want that life-changing treasure anyway. Well, at least I can relax now that I know what was inside. Thanks. Riverbed reward complete. Yay! I didn't realize that was a quest. Just gonna blow up things as well to make his day even more interesting. So I guess there isn't a Korok down there, which is interesting. But anyway, there's a few other areas around here that I could explore for stuff. Like that ruin over there. Or whatever that is, there's a well. I want to check that out. Somebody please help! Okay. Oh, I missed. Hey, I just got this from a riverbed. Goodbye. He's gone. I've saved you. That was close. Ah, uh, it was alright. Thanks for saving my hide. You deserve this more than the guy I was talking to. Taking it to. Energizing honey crepe. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. Honey has been drizzled over the uh, thin crepes. To bring out the natural sweetness and flavor. Uh. Typical. Just a typical. I tried to have a day out. Just watching the river go by, and now, ugh, I'm going back to the stable. Okay, thanks for telling me your life story. Is there something up here? I feel like there would be. Nothing in the well. Just a few sparkles, and also a lot of bombs. I wouldn't set these off, would I? No, I wouldn't do that. I would definitely not. Hopefully there's nothing. Oh, okay, um... Explosions! Hopefully I didn't need those for anything. Oh, there's a camp down there, so there might be something down there. But it might just be a camp, so... I really don't want to spend much time looking for Koroks that I'm not going to find. But there are a lot of Koroks to find, so it's easy to just find them sometimes. Even by accident. Anyway, let's actually head over to here, because we're going to head down that way now. Let's change my armor, because I'm pretty sure, depending on what armor you have, you have also lots of other strengths and weaknesses, so... Just to use our soldier's uniform, I guess. And I guess, let's just head down this way. We also haven't had a look at this stable much, so I might want to do that at some point, maybe. Oh, is that a... There's a well. The wells just make me think Korok, so... But no, this is just a well. Well, okay then. I really want secret stuff. I really want secret stuff. Just give me secret stuff. Actually, I think that in one of these tree log things, because they're hollow, I think there's actually... It doesn't look like there's an actual reason to do this, but no. I'm like, almost, almost certain. I've said that a lot, and I've been very wrong. Am I wrong? Am I just crazy? 
I'm crazy. Somebody send help. I'm crazy. Ah! Get up, Link, please. Thank you. Just hollow a lot of, lot of hollow trees for some reason. Not actually anything inside of them. Which you would expect. But anyway. I think there's also some trees over here that have been cut down. Over there. And a woodcutter's axe just there. You're finally here! So it was true! I met the hero of Hyrule under the sacred tree. Um, what? So, uh, you're not the hero of legend? I was so sure. But now that you mention it, you're way too scrawny to be the hero, and you don't have the legendary sword. If you happen to meet the hero who wields the legendary sword during your travels, tell him I'm waiting for him here. And now I'm officially creeped out and never gonna come back here with the, anything. No legendary blades for you. So anyway, let me just quickly check inside here. There's a lot of side quests around here that I haven't done. There's also a rumor mill thing. Oh, and there's the honey crepe thing. Interesting. Rumor Mill Volume 3. Time for gossip and news about the past and the future. Today's topic is... The Weird and Wonderful Spirit Koroks. At the moment, the night is at its darkest when even the trees have drifted into slumber. Actually, the time of day doesn't matter at all, really. Anyway. All throughout the world, you may spot these odd little spirit critters as you wander the land. They could be under a rock, or way out in the wilds, or even just in a suspicious nook that seems slightly not right. Real eerie, is it? Huh. Tracy's recommendation? Three stars. Okay. That's the way it's gonna be. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.